tell you with absolute certainty that your CV contains at least one of the things I'm going to discuss in this video and that could be the reason why you are still in the job market with no callbacks. By the way, my name is Ntoni. I am a career development content creator and in this video, I want to talk about some of the mistakes that you keep making in your CV and you're still making today that is keeping you from that dream job that you really, really want. So without any further ado, let's get on to today's video. The first thing are the small stuff, things like your profile picture, your date of birth, your gender. Guys, it's 2024. How do we still have all of that detail in your CV? No one cares. No one cares when you were born. No one cares how old you are as long as you're of legal working age. And no one cares what you look like. I'm sorry, I know you, you know your looks are really good, but when it comes to hiring and putting those things in your CV, you are simply introducing bias where hiring managers, recruiters can be biased against you based on how you look, based on how old you are, based on where you come from. So you want to remove all those things that could cause bias on your CV. We only want your name, we want your contact details to be able to contact you for an interview. We want to know generally where you are, Johannesburg, KZN. We don't need to know your house number, we don't need to know your street name. Those are the things you communicate in an interview. So be, be sure to check your CV, scan for any photos if you still have a photo on your CV for the love of God please remove it I beg of you okay please remove it other small stuff as well include having tables pie charts having a creative CV unless you're somebody who's in the creative industry in fashion and design your CV does not need to be creative you just need to have black font against a white background and you are good to go things like that will interfere will interfere with your CV when it comes to ATS or application tracking systems because those systems can't really read tables, they can't read graphs and so they may put your CV on the no pile. The second mistake I definitely know you're making is using the same CV for different jobs over and over and over again. You have had this one CV for the past two years, you have applied with it to 15 different jobs and all of them have rejected you or all of them have said nothing. And that is the reason why, guys, you need to have a tailored CV. Your CV needs to speak to that specific role that you are applying to. And I know a lot of you are, by now are rolling your eyes and you're just like, but I'm applying to 50, 100 jobs. How can I have 50 different versions of my CV or 100 different versions of my CV? And the key here is to focus on quality and not quantity. Select three to five different roles that you really want, that you really want to apply to and tailor your CV for those specific roles. Remember, if you're looking for an internal audit role, all internal audit roles will have similar keywords. They'll have similar responsibilities and job descriptions. And so having one or two versions of a CV that speaks to an internal audit role might be more helpful than having a general CV that you want to apply to different, to 100 different job posts. And that is also why you also have a LinkedIn profile, right? Because your CV is a hyper-targeted document to a specific role, while your LinkedIn profile is a more general view of who you are as a professional. So make sure to tailor your CVs, guys. And I know we are applying to a lot of jobs because you want to widen the pool and widen the chances of getting an interview. But trust me, if you focus on quality over quantity, it could yield you interview much sooner than you think. The third mistake that is in your CV right now is the fact that in your experience that you've written on your CV, your bullet points, you are not showing measurable metrics. You are not showing measurable results or measurable impact. Yes, you did this. Yes, you led the team. Yes, you implemented this project management tool. Yes, you did this and that. But what was the impact? What did you achieve? There are many people who are applying for that same role who did the exact same things that you did. But what makes you different? What basically shows that you can achieve results of the things that you do and that is you putting in measurable matrix in your cv and there's a formula that has been used in the industry that is the xyz formula basically i achieved x by doing y as measured by z 
and that way if you use that formula you're able to show what you did what you achieved and how it was measured and the measuring I always get the question but I don't know how to measure the the results of my work I don't know how to measure what I did or there's no measurable matrix to measure this thing it's not about the number guys it's not about you going there saying oh we completed the audit two days earlier okay so how many percentage of this is that it's not about that it's about showing the fact that you are able to quantify your results you're able to quantify the things that you did and showing the improvement from past results to current results through what you did on the job the last bit of mistake that you're making is that you're putting your education section first before your experience section guys the main point of your cv is to communicate value and you communicate value by showcasing what you've done before that is similar to what is needed in this role and you want to make sure that those are the first things that a recruiter a hiring manager sees and reads on your cv so you want to make sure your work experience is top before your 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 before your education section because your education just shows how you have backed yourself and what you have studied to enable you to do the job but it doesn't really show how that translates into you being able to do the job that you're applying for these may feel like really really small things but believe me guys it could be the difference between you landing an interview and you still being in the job market searching getting rejection after rejection and you feel like nobody is even reading your cv so check out your cv and see if you're making any of these mistakes if there are drop them in the comment section and tell me which one of these mistakes you were making in your cv i will see you guys in my next video don't forget there is a free cv template i will leave the link in the description box down below for you to download and you can use that template to sort of restructure your cv it contains all the things we have spoken about in this series so far i'll see you guys in my next video bye